Hi, um, I'm Ellie Kreider. I'm from the College of New Jersey. I'm working in the Giovanoni lab this summer. Um, so what we were looking at is the production of folates within tomatoes. Um, folates are a kind of vitamin that are incredibly important for many biological functions, especially in humans. Um, so it's important in like methyl methylation cycle and like the production of ATP. Um, but folate deficiency is common across the world because like we're dependent on our diets for folate. We don't really have the ability to produce them ourselves. And a lot of developing countries don't even have the ability to supplement their foods with that. And so it's a growing area of research. How do we increase production of folates? Um, which is a good idea until you get to the part that folates are incredibly unstable in the plant. And so how do we, um, how do we make them st stick around? This is what this, project is focusing on. We're focusing on the stabilization and storage of folates rather than the production. And we're working with folate binding protein, which is one of the primary stabilization genes. And so we're working with three deletion um, lines and three overexpression lines. And what we did was we first made sure that our deletion um, had worked. So we took, these were CRISPR lines and we basically, this is what uh, a complete deletion, a partial deletion and no deletion would look like in that, uh, from that plant once we extracted DNA. And this is very important to know because when we get down to when we're actually looking at what the transcript levels are, like how it is being expressed in the plant, you can see that homozygous and, hetero, uh, homo homozygous and heterozygous deletions, part of complete and partial, are very, very different in the plant. And so although you can see that the overexpression mutants in the plant and the fruit and in the leaf are much lower, which means that they had a much higher um, original concentration in the plant, that the deletion is much higher, which means that it had a much lower original concentration in the plant. And so even though we can say this, we don't know how that actually affects the folate content analysis or the folate content of the plant. So what we did was we looked at, um, we purified our folates through um, liquid chromatography tandem mass spectrometry. And we saw that the deletion and the overexpression both had a much lower amount of folate in them. And this may have been due to the fact that um, uh, the protein was binding all of the um, folate. And when we purified our folates, we took it all out. So in the future, we're gonna add a denaturing step and we're gonna work with not just leaves, but also mature fruit, um, green and red. And that should help us really understand what's going on in the plant. Great, thank you so much. What was very quickly your favorite part about this work? Um, I really loved learning about like mass spectrometry. It was a completely new thing for me and it was fascinating to work on the method development of that. Thank you so much, very nice work. Thank you.